Hey guys and welcome to my channel. For any new viewers, my name is Lindsay and I'm a custom content builder in The Sims 4. So this video is different from anything I've ever done before on this channel or my other channel. So I'm going to be ranking my favorite custom content packs from 1 to 10, mostly in the hopes that you find this video useful. Um, whether you're downloading CC for the first time and you find it overwhelming because there's just so many creators and packs, or you just want some new CC sets for your game, I'm hoping this video is going to help you to achieve that and if not maybe you'll just find it a little bit entertaining which is great too. So if you enjoy this video please like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. It really helps me out by letting me make more videos like this one in the future. Alright let's get started. So this first set is by a creator named Piri Sim and it's called Unfold. So this one is at the bottom of my list, but I still love it because it's really unique for gameplay. So when we got the Growing Together pack, we got a feature where you can invite Slims over to spend the night or spend the week, whatever you want, you can customize it. But part of the reason I love this set is because of this bed here, which is a pullout couch. So I'll show you guys. Yeah, it pulls out. It's really cool and it actually comes with just like the two-seater sofa as well so you can totally swap them out in gameplay to make it a little more realistic if you have a sim having a sleepover and you need somewhere for them to sleep i think this is really fun and also this set is just fantastic for tiny homes and apartments because there is just this storytelling aspect of having smaller furniture like these foldable tables that you can also use as desks. I use them a lot for kids rooms as desks. So let me just show you this is everything that comes with it. So as you can see it's not a very big set. Uh, it does come with all your variations of couches as always Pearson does such a wonderful job with colors and having them just be really pretty and not too stark even like that red that red color beautiful like I would use that in a build so then you have the pull out couch bed and then the regular beds uh single and double you have all these table variations there's so many different ones ones that fold ones that are not folded but you can still see the seams in them so these ones don't these ones don't fold at all but these ones have the seams which is really neat and a really cool detail like this is one of those creators that does add a lot of cool details to their custom content which is something I appreciate so much because I find that EA doesn't always do that and it's just really fun to have those little details in furniture that you wouldn't get otherwise and then we also have these coffee tables with wooden slats that I think are really fun and unique and I like how long they are as well so you have a longer and shorter one and then a tiny tiny bit of clutter, some really really cute chairs that are actually smaller than most normal chairs which works really well with these smaller tables I find and then we have this tiny end table as well. So yeah, that's the set. I definitely recommend it if you like playing in smaller builds. I think it's really useful for that. Okay, so for our next set, you're going to notice a tiny bit of a pattern here, but I promise, I swear, like Pinky promise, this is not going to repeat itself too much. This is another Peary Sim set. As I said before, I just love this creator. I think he has really, really unique ideas a lot of the time, and that's always fun for when you're trying to have a variety in your builds. But he made this pantry party set that I absolutely adore for like rooms in your basement or if you have a little like room or nook or cranny near your kitchen or dining room you can add a pantry this is such a detailed set and part of the reason i love pierre sim so much because look at this clutter there is a ridiculous amount of clutter here so we have these shelves they have different kind of setups you have like a corner shelf this tiny shelf these bigger ones some of them have like these like taller shelves in the bottom and then smaller ones at top and these are great because you can use them for things that aren't pantries like bookshelves or even a shelf in your garage to put your tools and stuff on. I think that's really fun. So this is kind of what they look like. And of course, Pearson always has wonderful, wonderful swatches. So there's colorful ones like there's red, there's blue, there's green, yellow, and then you have all your basic wood swatches, white, black, like everything's there. We have this little freezer which is so cute and I think another fun thing for a basement or a garage to just add a little bit of realism. I think 
out of all of this clutter my favorite has to be this bottle pack because look at this this is so cute he like recreated brands in the game like coca-cola fanta perrier like that's so fun i just like that again for a little touch of realism but i'll show you just so you can see the variety of clutter in this pack there's so much and the fact that we have like things that are individual things in pairs things in groups different like sizes of all these like jarred foods different swatches for all of them I'll show you a little closer uh, and then we have like these jars we have cans again that have like some I think there's like yeah the Campbell's one I see there so again with the brands there's some plain cans all the different ones individual groups of them we have a little bit of clutter here as well like kitchen um, bowls and pans and then these little cartons where you can have like I think they're onions and maybe potatoes and there's also a bag of potatoes here some brooms and then all these boxes of like things that you would find in a cupboard cereals and like maybe like baking items and things I think that's so fun this set is really fun for just those spaces you don't know what to do with and just adding like general kitchen clutter and things for storytelling if you have a sim that likes to like can maybe they live on the they're like cottage living world they live in the cottage living world and they like to can because that is i believe a thing you can do in that pack just adding a little bit of realism so yeah i definitely recommend this set by peary sim if you're looking for a little bit more to add to your kitchen or you have a sim that has a really big house and you don't know what to do with a room this is a wonderful solution so our next set is going to be purely a build set so there's no like buy objects really in this one um and this set is by felixander and it's called soho so this is part of a bigger set so this is parts one and two of soho and there's six sets i believe the last set is still in early access at this point but i love this you guys can probably already tell why it's so detailed and it lets you create really cool apartments which is something we couldn't do before earlier this year i believe is when for rent came out so yeah this is really fun the fact that you can now build apartments and do them really detailed like this and all of the different window options and all these like columns and trims and everything that you can kind of make them look really similar to soho apartments which are a popular apartment i feel like a popular apartment style i should say i also added this little area inside where you can see some of the dividers and pipes and things that you can add and arches i really love the arches because they're so three-dimensional in this set and i use them a lot in my modern builds for that very reason and I love just, what is this called again? A cor cornice? Cornice? I don't know if I'm pronouncing that correctly, but I love, again, the 3D appearance of that trim on the roof is really, really cool. So as you can see, yeah, there's a ton of customizable things. You can do a lot of different things with this set, but we have all of these windows, different wall heights. Some of them are open, which is always fun, like this one here. And yeah, there's just a bunch of different sizes, so you can kind of do whatever you want. And then there's these normal doors, these arches, like I said, very three-dimensional. You have some open doors, some closed doors. I really like these ones for interiors, I think are really fun. And then we have all of these dividers of different heights and you can kind of make like little rooms with the dividers which I think is really fun. We have little exit signs which is a cute touch and then the fire escape which comes with three different heights and then the three different balcony sizes to attach the stairs onto. I think that's such a fun touch that we don't have right now other than this set in the game. We have all these different column styles and sizes. There's little um, pipes that go on the ceiling, which I've never used because I don't care about the ceilings that much in the game, to be honest, when I'm building, but you can definitely use those as well. We have these arches here for windows and doors, and then all these light switches and a little electrical outlet, some more pipes and a little radiator, which is so cute. And then we have all these little pieces that you can add inside or outside to add just detail to the outside of the building. 
they come in different swatches so there's this reddish brick that I love and then there's like whites grays and a very dark um, brick I wish there was a black brick but there's not you have all these different trims and cornices and then all these window trims as well which is so fun I really like this shape of the window which I believe yeah is this one I think that's my favorite one just because it's a bit unique but guys this is wonderful for anyone who likes to build exteriors more than interiors or just as much as interiors because it's just fun it's a totally different style and we don't have anything like it in the game itself so it is a really fun one to have that I think is unique enough that you're not going to be able to replicate it with anything else you have. So for anyone who's not new to this channel, you already know that I absolutely adore bohemian style builds and so I had to add at least one uh, boho set and this is a little bit biased but I also just love Clutter Cat as well. If you're really into making very detailed lived in builds, I highly highly recommend Clutter Cat as a creator in general but this set is really fun because boho is such a cozy style I guess is the word I'm looking for and I just love this one. I think there's such nice clutter that comes like look at this little sunflower in the vase that's so cute and like I love this little um, pencil. I don't know what you would call that like a shelf and this desk is also really fun and we've got just little benches this light is really cool and then we have like this really cool under the stairs shelf that I'll show you in a minute comes in a lot of variety but I think that's fun because you can put either a desk or a bed in it kind of built in which is really unique and then we also have a bit more up here where I added like this little swing and some cushions because it's just really cute this set and it comes with quite a bit. So as you can see over here, yeah, there's quite a bit. There's a couple different variations of these under the stairs shelving. There's this one that only has one shelf, which is really cool as well. We have two variations of the lamp, some wall art pieces, a little trash can, some rugs. I really like this rug more than this one. This one reminds me more of something for like a kid or teenager's room, which I definitely use. These little like, um, they're almost like a tray to put on your dining table or to put like, it's like a cozy almost that you would put like under a cup or something, but a bit bigger so you could put under plates or like anything like that. I think it's really cute. We have this huge mirror, arch mirror, which I love as well. I think that's a really cool mirror. And then all of this clutter, like guys, there's so much. I love these custom blankets you can put on bed, like these on beds, these throws are really neat. This is like a variation of that plant that comes with the plant kit that hangs down, but it doesn't hang down. It goes on like your shelves, which is really creative. And I like that for when you don't want a hanging plant, but one that trails still, that's really cool. I also love this little trio of pillows here. I think they're really, really cute for couches and beds just to add a little something extra. There's this little book that's a bit hard to see outside, but it has all these different swatches for like different drawings and pictures on the pages, which is really, really cute. And then we have all the furniture as well. So we have these like benches that you can kind of use instead of a couch if you want it, I guess. I don't know. I don't use these ones super often, but they're kind of unique and I do like them for that reason. I love though these swings. I think they're really, really cute and the detail on them is amazing. We have three different bed styles. So we have like the built-in bed, the non-built-in bed, and then a single bed a couple different desks and a vanity table and then these benches a coffee table and two different end tables i think this set is really well rounded for living rooms and bedrooms maybe more bedrooms than anything else though because we don't have a couch like specifically a couch so this is a great bedroom office set i think and then the clutter in general is just great to use in general of course so i definitely recommend this if you're into the boho style like i am or you just like really cozy builds because this is perfect all right so this is probably even though it's not my favorite custom content set i think this is one that everyone should have so maybe i should have put it at number one but honestly it's like I said, it's not my favorite and there are other sets in this list I think everyone should have. But the reason I say that is because the set is literally called Basic. So it's by Felix Andre and 
Hey Harry, so it's one of their collab sets, um, and I just love this one because it is literally a basics set, so that's why it's so perfect to have because it has a bunch of different rooms, so it is two parts, it's the basic set and then basic bathroom are the two parts, and yeah, basically it's just perfect for having very simple furniture. So in this first room, you can see I built, we have the bed, which the bed frame is so cute with the little pillow attachments on it. And I just love this bedding in particular. It comes with two different beddings, but the one with the folded blanket looks so comfy and it comes in some nice colors as well. Um, some more bright colors and then some more like neutrals and ones that are white that just has like the blanket a different color which is fun and then we also have this couch and a coffee table I added in here because I didn't want to make a living room separate uh, and then this really unique rug that has like these little like bubbles on it which is so interesting and again a lot of different swatches some really interesting colorful ones as well and this set I believe I'm not 100% sure, but I believe it was the first set we got with these customizable closets, and this came into play after D Dream Home Decorator, I'm pretty sure, but this one's really fun because it has all these different swatches, so you can do like these more solid color swatches or all your wood basic swatches, basically. It comes with all these shoes and these folded shirts and some hanging clothes and then these doors, which I'll show you later, are really, really cool, but I do use that a ton. This is the basic bathroom set, so this is pretty much all it comes with. It does come with like a separate shower as well and tub, um, but I love this combo one. It's so simple and I feel like the game itself does not have these nice simple shower tub combos at all, so this one is really, really useful. I also think that little sink setup is so cute so you can put the sinks on these counters which is really fun my only complaint is i wish there was one long mirror there's not there's just these tinier mirrors that comes with the set and then you have like this little shelf that you can kind of put things in or it comes with a couple things as well these individual toilet paper rolls which is really fun as well um, and then we'll move on to the dining room. So there's less that comes with this particular part, but I wanted to include because there is a table and chairs that comes with the set and this lamp. These curtains are not from the set, they're from Grove, but I did do that a couple times in here just to add a little something because it was very plain otherwise, but this clutter does come with the set and then I think my favorite part of this entire set is the kitchens so there's two separate kitchen sets that you kind of see in the background that come with this but I just love them both they're really modern I love the little cart that comes with it I think that's such a fun touch and the fact that you can put like your fridge and your ovens in these nooks as well I think looks really clean and nice and it doesn't come with a ton of clutter, which is maybe another complaint I have about this set, but honestly, I think it's a really nice kitchen. So let's show you. So there are two, and the only difference is the uh, handles. And the other fun thing is that they have drawers. Like, look at how cute that is, that there's little drawers that come out of some of them, so it makes it look really lived in, which is fun. So this is all like your clutter that comes with both of these sets. You have two sizes of rugs, a bunch of lamp options, which are really cool. The other bedding right there you can see, and then toddler and kids as well. This is the shower head and oops, the tub as well here. And we have all these couches and chairs. I like this chair as well. It's a very common chair to see in people's homes, I feel like, which is fun. And then we have the closet doors, which are so cool. Why? Like, they made three options, which is really fun. So you have the more wooden option, the kind of, I don't know what material you would call this. Does it say? Oh, just a solid door. So yeah, that one and then the see-through one, which is so cool. And then you have your different shelving options. So you have this corner with no shelving. This is one where you can also hang clothes in you have like the shoe one with you can put the little t-shirts into these drawers down here and then you have this one that's all shelves and this one that's just for hanging clothes and a tiny shelf on top but again i think this one is so good because it covers so many rooms and it is just very basic so you can mix and match these things with pretty much anything and it will work perfectly so i highly recommend this set this is a good one you guys 
So you guys know how before I was saying I love boho style. My second favorite style in the game and in real life is industrial. So of course, I'm absolutely obsessed with this set by Peary Sim called David's Apartment. So this is part one of that set. There's a couple parts, I believe... Is there three? Yes, there's three parts. Sorry, I'm just trying to remember off the top of my head, but this one, a big part of the reason I love this set, and I feel like some of you guys might know this, is this couch. This is my favorite couch in the entire game. In-game furniture, NCC, this is the couch for me. I love this couch. It looks so incredibly comfortable. I don't know how he did that, but also just the colors, like this orangey color, but then again, he's so good with his color swatches. I love them. I think they're the perfect amount of color where it's not like too crazy in your face. Like I feel like some of the in-game furniture can be that way and I know that's just the way The Sims 4 is, but I honestly prefer a bit more of a muted or pastel-y kind of color swatch for my furniture, at least in most cases. So we also have these amazing bookshelves which I use all the time in my industrial builds and also other builds because they're just really cool and I love the metal on them. That's honestly the same reason I love this chair which I think is meant to be like, it's not technically an armchair in the game but it's quite large so I like to use it as like an armor accent chair and then this, oops, this little, sorry about that, this little side table which there's two options and they stack. I think that's really fun as well. I also get so much use out of this coffee table. The bigger one usually, but today we're using the small one. I also love, love, love the swatches on this rug. So we also have some colors in here as well, but I think that's such a fun rug and the paintings are also a similar vibe where it's just really fun. So I'll show you guys what comes with this set. So it's not a huge set either, but it does have some options. So we have bigger bookshelves as well as the smaller ones. We have different lights here, different leaning and non-leaning paintings, all the couch pieces, which you guys already know I love this couch. We have this glass end table as well. This is actually a TV, so you can watch like you would watch on a laptop like TV which is really fun. We also have this folded one which again it has like almost the Apple like Mac brand on it which is so funny when Pierce Sim does stuff like that I find. And then here's the coffee table I use a ton. I'll show you like the swatches on this one. Again we got a little bit of color in here but it's just very sleek and modern and I feel like it works in a lot of different spaces. So yeah, if you guys really like industrial, this set honestly is very masculine to me as well, which maybe makes sense since it's David's apartment. Yeah, so if you're into that kind of style or you're looking for something a little bit more interesting and unique, then I definitely recommend this one. It also comes with all these little book clutter bits, which is so fun. I love books in the game and in real life, so that's always uh, an extra point for me in these kinds of sets. Okay, so in our fourth place, we finally have another build set. So this one includes build and buy because it's actually two parts, and this is the organic set by Felix and Harry, and uh, this one is honestly... A really really good set I if you like building cottages if you like building even like cabins and stuff I feel like the set works really well for that too it has some really unique pieces I didn't include one of them in this build itself but it does have some really cool windows and just like trusses and stuff that I'll show you guys in a minute but this is kind of what you can do in terms of like a cottage a little country house I love it I think it's so cute I love this glass roof swatch. The fact that you can do little like um, sunrooms or greenhouses with this set is so fun. The arches in this set are beautiful. And these are doors that you can just like add on. So if you want it to be like a garage or something, that's always something I like to do with this set. Uh, and the colors of everything. There's so many different like bricks and things in this set. And the floor tile is honestly beautiful as well. So I'll show you as well the little room that I built here in the back. Oh, this lot likes to jump around a lot, I'm sorry. But yes, as you can see, I built this little 
two rooms with the interior set so we have this dining set with these chairs that are so stinking adorable i love the little hearts in them i think they're so fun and also we have like this little console table where you can put all these little boots and things and a mirror and this is kind of meant to be your entryway but I added it to the dining room just because I didn't want to go too crazy. And then we have this sectional couch. I believe this was the first sectional custom content couch that I ever downloaded once we got Dream Home Decorator in the game. And it's so cute. I love the checkers and you obviously have like your more... Oh, that, that yellow is really nice too. You have like your more just basic swatches and then crazy patterns. So a couple more of more basic ones, but then they went crazy with the patterns in the set they did it with the curtains as well so you could kind of match them i think that's so fun i also love this coffee table because it looks like a chest which i think is so pretty and unique and the fireplace also is beautiful in this set it's really large so that makes it a bit different from all the other fireplaces that we have and this rug also has a bit of pattern and wear in it, which is such a cool detail. So you have the ones that aren't worn and then the ones that are, which I think is really fun for a set like this. So yeah, these curtains also, you can just adjust them to whatever size you want. So they're the customizable ones. I love them. I think they're really flowy and pretty. So I'll show you guys just everything that comes with the set again. So it's quite a large set, all things considered. So we have all of our buy items. So we have some plants, the big rug, all this like seating, these benches with customizable cushions. Uh, there's some shelves here, one with books and one without. And then the different tables and benches and pillows. And then we have another fireplace that's a bit more like rustic looking, I guess, and some mirrors, leaning and not leaning. And then we have all these windows and doors and build items. So we have different sizes of these shutters for your door. We have sliding doors. There's these big arch doors, which are really cool and just arches in general. There's also your normal looking arch that we have and then barn door arches. Hello, that's so fun. And then we have all these different windows. These ones, as you can see, we have like these, I don't know what you would call that. They're like kind of a triangular window so you can mirror them on the other side, make a triangle out of windows, which is really unique and definitely something I love about this set. We also have these tresses or trusses, sorry, that kind of do a similar thing. You can put them in your gabled roofs at like the front so that they add just a little bit of something extra. And then we have also these arched windows and these kind of tiny windows with the trims on them, which are adorable. And then we have just big, big, nice glass windows, which again, I also love that as well. I think that's really pretty, especially if you're in nature and you have all this nice nature to look at in your Sims builds. I think that's a perfect window to have those full floor to ceiling windows on. So yeah, this set is definitely one that I highly recommend if you are into cottages or cabins, things like that. I think this set is really good for that and it has a lot of versatility as well in terms of the windows and doors and things. So you can definitely get really creative with this build and I think it's, or with this build set and I think it's really, really nice and I highly recommend you download it right now. All right guys, we're already down to our top three sets so this is a part of a huge set by hey harry called coastal collection and this is parts three and four so it's basically the kitchen and the dining room i love this set i think it's beautiful like this kitchen is amazing i think it's definitely my favorite kitchen in the entire game like this one is just so unique i love these glass cabinets i know people don't like it and i think cool kitchen where it's kind of like weird windowed cabinets but these ones are so so pretty so i will show you just a little bit of the variations of these so look at look at like you can put clutter in there and there's one that's uh let me find the actual one sorry it's a little bit confusing here we go so there's one that's like really long that has clutter in it and then one that's empty as well as you can see so you can put your own clutter in there and I think it's so cute 
this set is just adorable it comes in like tons and tons of different colors and swatches you have like your more basic colors here you have some like black ones some colorful ones it's so pretty and there's two different variations as well of this kitchen so i decided to go with this really dark swatch because i think it's really pretty the fact that you can also slot things on the island is so clever and like you can see the sink with the little towel on it how cute is that like guys come on this set is adorable we have this ginormous fridge with a little bit of like a wine cooler built into it which i think is fun it also comes with a big oven i decided to use a small one here but it does come with a big oven as well and this little pot um what are these called pot fillers I think that's a really fun detail and we also have this customizable backsplash which is so fun there's also a marble one too so you can put marble or tile yeah and then we also have this little dining set and I decided to put some colorful chairs here which I think is really fun because it matches the kitchen and again all the swatches I think they match the kitchen this table you also have some with the colors like underneath which is really fun so yeah, then we have just everything that comes with it. So as you can see, we do have two different kitchen options. So one with kind of more of a, like maybe granite or marble, it is marble, uh, top and then one with a wood top. I think I prefer the wood top. That just looks nicer to me than marble. But yeah, you have the option to go crazy here's the big oven which is so cool i think felix is the only other one i've seen make an oven this big which i just think is fun for when you have a really bougie like big house to add a bigger than normal oven of course it only functions like this one like just this part but i think the little grill and the extra like stove top added on an extra tiny oven is really fun i don't know if that's meant to be an oven as well on this side I'm not sure, but as you can see, we have all these different back splashes, this marble one as well, and then a little tiny bit of clutter, not a ton with this set, but I think it's just such a well done kitchen and it's so pretty and I definitely recommend if you're going to download a kitchen and you're not into like super, super modern kitchens, this one is the perfect kitchen to download. Okay, we're back for the final two. I just took a really quick kombucha break just to wake myself up because, guys, this is a long video to record and I feel like I've never done anything like this before, so this is just kind of interesting for me. But anyways, back to the CC sets. So this one is by a creator called A Winged Llama. And this creator kind of has a Max's match, a little bit of alpha mix with their custom content. So maybe you're not totally into a little more alpha in your game, but honestly, and I'm totally biased here, but again, this is my list of things I can't live without. So of course I'm gonna put a boho set up at the top. So this set is called Boho Living. And I love it mostly only for the amount of plants this comes with. So if you're a plant, person in real life or in the game you're gonna love this set because the variety of plants is absolutely insanity there's so much and it's just such a cute little set like the curtains are adorable the rugs are really cool this couch is awesome this couch looks almost one for one my couch in real life like maybe i'll include a picture so you guys can see what i mean but it's this little leather couch and it's so cute and it comes with really nice colors and i just love this one i use it a lot i feel like i don't use a lot of the other things as much maybe Unless I'm really going for that boho style, I don't tend to, but there's some really nice things like this little desk and everything matches, like the TV stand, the desk, the dresser as well, all match really well together. All the like little meshy bits and stuff, I love that style. I think it's really cute. This little end table is adorable. It looks like little like saucers stock, like stacked on top of each other, which is super cute. There's a bunch of pillows, like look at this one with the little face on it. And then this blanket is also something you can add on to your couches and it comes in patterns and just plain colors, which is really fun. I love how this chair has like a little pillow and cushion on it. I think that's so fun and cozy. So this set also comes with a bedroom set. So we have end tables and dressers, this little swing, which is really cute. 
and then the beds so there's a bunch of different beds and there's another rug here as well but there's a bunch of different beds as you can see there's like hanging plants I'll show you guys what comes with the set here because it's a lot <laughs> look at all of this but I guess we'll start over here so we have some lamps two different styles of very popular looking lamps I'd say all these hanging plants of different lengths and styles and then you also have these little shelves that hang that you can add plants to as well of different heights and styles which is this is such like there's so many options in this one set it's insane like it's actually crazy a wing llama is crazy in a good way but like look there's even a bunch of different mirrors we have a computer and like all these tables i already showed you different heights on the swings some lamps this little couch which i don't honestly use that much because it doesn't look that comfortable but i feel like i could make it work in a build definitely maybe outdoors more than indoors we have all these chairs and this little like poof as well which is really fun and then the couch in two different sizes a bunch of coffee tables and end tables two different rugs some artwork which is really really cute as well again like the pillows and blankets curtains so there's two different kinds of curtains and then back here before we get to these plants there's all these beds so there's six different beds you can have they all have like your kind of normal boho like colors and things um so and then you also have these little kid beds and toddler beds and then all of these plants so there's all these pots first of all then there's like this one and then there is literally a whole of these variations like there's eight of these plants of different sizes and styles they're fiddly figs i think that's so fun and then you have all of these little plants as well so like look at all of these and then if you think that's not enough guys this plant look it's called pick a plant and there's a bunch of different swatches of one plant there's so many plants in here and i love it so much i think it's really really fun that there's so many different ones this one trails as well you can't really tell but there's also two versions of this plant like it's just crazy it's crazy i love it i can't wait till she makes more sets with even more plants because i'm ready i'm ready for more plants in my game you guys know if you've watched my channel before that i love to clutter with plants all over the place so this set is a must-have for me because there's just so many good plants in the set that are just really really nice and i highly recommend this if you're into again the boho style or if you're looking for some really cute beds some good plant clutter or just a really nice couch like there's tons of stuff in here that i think is really really great for any builder i really do love this creator and this set so finally you guys we're here we're at number one the reason this set is my favorite while there's so many reasons i think this one is amazing so this is by hey harry once again it's part of the coastal collection this is parts one and two and as you can already see this lot is absolutely filled with things this is a ginormous set in general it's eight parts but this is just two parts and it's so much it's so detailed and well thought out and well rounded like it's crazy what she thought of when making this set because this is perfect for so many different styles and just any backyard honestly you can use most of this stuff and i think that's so nice so not only are there like so so many options for doors and windows in this set like it's perfect for a coastal house it's perfect for a cottage it's perfect for a suburban house like there's this set can go so many different places honestly you guys i love this for the doors and windows only yes i love it because like look there's so many different varieties there's tiny windows there's really big windows there's open doors open windows closed windows closed doors i think that's so fun and not only is like the wallpapers and stuff really pretty too but like guys there's so many things in this set so we'll start over here in this look area here so first thing you'll probably notice is there's a lot of fences these fences are incredible so not only is there like your classic backyard fence there's railings there's also this fence so there's three fences that are totally customizable so you can place these with move objects on at the very edge of your lot which is something you cannot do with the in-game fences it doesn't allow you to this is 
one of the reasons it's so nice but you can make them to any size you want the fact that it comes with like a really cute gate that snaps in as well is amazing I love these fences. I also love this little playhouse. So this is a take on the one from Dream Home Decorator, the little play tent that's not really little, it's kind of huge. This one is such a better idea because you can put it outside. It also comes in all these swatches, so like this one's really cute, it looks like a little barn almost. But you can really use this anywhere, I think it's perfect. And the fact that it comes with a little sandbox that you can attach. And if you have Island Living, and I believe Tartosa as well, if you put the sand terrain paint, your sims can make sand castles, like anywhere you put it, so that's really fun. It also comes with this little fire pit that's really modern looking, and I really like compared to like the outdoor retreat ones, which are more, I mean, outdoorsy looking. Um, we also have this really comfortable looking outdoor furniture set that I also use so much when I'm making outdoor things i made this little garden with this arch which is also doubles as a wedding arch so there's two i love that as well i also love the planters i use those a ton and these shutters are also adorable so let's take a look so there's so much as you can see so we have like the little outdoor things that i talked about here all the fence pieces and railing pieces you do kind of need the tool mod i believe to place these railings at least for me they never place at the right height like it's a bit finicky so I think you can use the nine key to like raise them and stuff but I just find it easier with tool um so we have all the shutters some trims and then look at all just these are all doors ridiculous right there's so many and then you even have like these ones with the glass windows in which I think are really fun. You have like this garage one that opens and closes a bunch of open and closed exterior and interior doors. That's so fun as like a detail and then we have all these arches and then all of these windows. Look at how cute these windows are. The tiny ones like look that's adorable I love that I love that so much and then you have these big ones like there's so much in this set you 100% need to download this one you guys like absolutely 100% if you're a builder this is such an amazing set it comes with so much and you're gonna be able like you're never gonna run out of window and door options in this set it's wonderful so yeah Thank you guys so much for watching this video to the end if you did i really appreciate it so much and if you'd like i will have all of these sets linked below so that you can go straight to the creators and download them they are all free to download at this point uh like i said i think soho is the only one that's not completely out yet if you want the entire six parts the six part is still in early access probably coming out like in september i would assume but yeah everything else is free and you know just check out these creators in general if you're interested because all of them have really incredible things to download and i definitely highly rec recommend all of them if you'd like to see all of the cc that i have i do have a tumblr post that i always link in my description that's like my master list so if you want to go as crazy as me and download like everything then you can absolutely do that i add to it a couple times a month usually when i download new sets so yeah this is also a series i will be continuing every month once a month i'm gonna go through all the new sets I've put in my game and like if I recommend them or not and like what I think about them because I think that's kind of fun as a CC builder to do for you guys just so you can kind of get to see the new sets and download them as well if you'd like. So yeah, I'm going to do those reviews once a month from here on out towards the end of the month um, or the beginning. I've not decided yet so we'll see what happens next time one of these come out and then you'll kind of have an idea. But yeah, guys, this video was so much fun so I really hope it was helpful for you and even if you don't want to download the CC it's kind of cool just to see it anyways I guess but hopefully you will download some of it so yeah thank you guys for watching I'll see you in the next one bye